Hello my fellow car models, how are you doing today? We're going to take another retrospective on into the world of scale auto enthusiasts. We're going to look at an old copy from way back when, but this one is going to be a contest annual. There's some neat stuff in this magazine and it's from 1989. How cool is that? So let's go ahead and get on into this one. Oh, this Tucson show. I remember this show. This was at a little hobby shop. And I couldn't believe. I went down to this hobby shop. I went to this show down in Tucson. And I couldn't believe that the hobby shop is gone. Let's see. As a matter of fact, oh, Michael Banner. I, 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 I'll have to cover up. But I, it probably isn't his phone number now. But he wrote his phone number in there. I remember Mike Banner. I haven't talked to him in years. I don't know if he's still around. But he was one of the who's who's a who's who of... Um, car modelers down in the Tucson area and when the big show started happening up here in Phoenix it got the Tucson guys and the Phoenix guys and then there was a whole nother crew way up north the White Mountain guys and we all started becoming a big group in Arizona and things were going really cool for model cars back in those days and so we were getting to be friends with these guys Ron Heistlin Heiston I, I, I'm sorry if I'm screwing his name up he did this. I remember seeing this. It was spectacular because there was a NASCAR sanctioned, it's still a NASCAR sanctioned track down in Tucson. It was dirt, then it was asphalt, then it was dirt again, and then it's asphalt again. The first time that it was asphalt, that's a very historic track to NASCAR truck series, if you guys don't know. I'll cover that some other time. So Tucson's a very important place for the NASCAR truck series and just yeah i remember this they were all in that store all on shelves there was a whole wall of this store side one side of the the store was a wall and it was just a model car contest and there was just tons and tons of model cars i'll never forget that it was a cool old store i remember the uh the owner yeah classic hobbies the owner he was a super nice guy eh. There's Mike Banner. I remember Mike Banner's 66 uh, Nova Pro Street. But yeah, they, they were just super bunch of great people, man. We made some, such great friendships, had some really good times back in those days. Now we're on to Toledo. Toledo. The Toledo Cla uh, Classic Car Contest. This is this was put on by the it was put on by the Buckeye Scale Auto, Auto Club, which is uh they put on uh, uh, an NNL today. That I I believe I talked about them once, but we're not going to bring that up right now. But they are putting. They are still a, a happening club, Buckeye Scale Auto Club, that is putting on a great show. Always been some great great builders up in that part of the country. I remember this prophecy pro stock. Even someone did Oscar Mayer Wienermobile. Goodness gracious. Just some cool stuff. This Tom Kobrick did that, and he also did this. Look at that. That's a freaking awesome. Looks like a um, Maverick. South Minneapolis. Some black and white. I remember seeing this. Someone had that beautiful, had a nice petty car. I, I had seen some pictures. This was actually a pretty nice, pretty nice model, and it was best to show Jeff Johnson ultra detailed Petty Pontiac. But this was all like mirror. There <laughs> said Petty. It's too bad that's not color because I have seen pictures of that in color. And here we go. We talked about this car before. John McGowan's amazing, amazing 37 Ford that won best to show at Salt Lake. This is Salt Lake 1989. We talked about this in uh, one of the last uh, episodes of Retrospective. That's beautiful. Don Benjamin. Ken Hamilton. It's Ken Hamilton's Merc right here and George Cafaro right there. 
Now Ken Hamilton's still around. He's still gluing his fingers together and cutting that styrene. Crazy stuff. Ron Bolton. I remember that test that Tankerosta. That was there was a good side shot of that in in the uh, in the uh, regular issue. And oh Dave Abell's 65. We talked about that. I told you the story about Dave Abell's car right there. Augiscanos. There was a good side shot. That was an amazing model if you could see a little better instead of a bird's eye view of it. But that right there, that was my friend Jim Wood. Another one of his uh, concoctions and really cool models. He would just, he built some really neat stuff, usually race cars. And there is Jim's. I, I Every time I go to Jim's house, I would just stare at this model and just study it. I know it really well in my head because I want to build one one day. I have always wanted to build a modified like that. And that back then, there was nothing even close. He completely scratch built that. I remember when he was building it and he, he started with the J2000 body. Everything else is scratch. And I believe the wheels and tires came from an IMSA race car and just parts box pieces and stuff and that is just i'm going to show you guys again it is just an amazing amazing model boy oh boy i don't know what happened to all his uh, all his models i don't know if some of his close friends got them or where they're at today but if there was a jim wood model if i could have it'd be that one and i would definitely keep it in a v cased up and in a very special spot he was someone very very important in my becoming the model car guy that i am him and tom new super important people in my life south edelboro that is up in new england wow look at that any of you know about the piranha that's some nice stuff right there look at that very cool very cool and there's more from that show. Wow, spectacular models. Just absolute spectacular models. If you ever get a chance uh, to pick up these, uh, these old contest annuals, especially ones from the late 80s and early 90s, it, it's something to look at all these models from back then. Look at this. Someone made the whole rig. Who was that? That would have been Ed McGauld. Oh, uh, McGod. That's really cool. Another, just see tons of those. You know, that kit was new. Tons of AMT Nova Pro Streets and stuff. There's one of them little 43rd starter kits right there. St. Ignis, Michigan. And uh, Joe Sider of Grand Rapids. He was the best of show winner. So he got to be uh, be in the magazine. I think that's the only face in the whole magazine right there. And they had some class. They just had a nice day out on the lake there. And that's where they took the pictures of the models. How cool is that? Some cool, cool stuff. Oh, yeah, more. Just some beautiful models. Here we go. This is the third... Third one of the, uh, the Totowa, New Jersey. I don't know if these are separate shows. Or what the heck's going on? <laughs> but this is the third coverage from, uh, I think, the first one was the 87, then the 88. They got three of their shows in one shot. And Larry Booth was there. Really cool models. Hey, what do you know? A 66 Nova. <laughs> this is cool. We're two separate builders there. Same model. Two different takes. And anybody know who that is? Mr. Doug White. His beautiful k, &K insurance car. We talked about that back when uh, he was on the Unpodcast. I'd like to have Doug back on again and do some model building. Chewing the fat one of these days. If you haven't, go check out his show on YouTube. His channel, I should say show channel called the model car muse it is spectacular and it is chuck full of great interviews from a lot of these guys from the past and you want to learn about stuff about the hobby 
that's a good channel to watch. I remember this. I remember this. I remember this. So this is in Appleton, Wisconsin. What is the builder? Stephen Circa, C-E-R-K-A. Circa or Kirka, I don't know. I'm sorry. But I remember seeing that and I wanted to build something like that. I went out and got myself one of the monogram chargers just because I'm going to do that one day. And I said that back in the late 80s. And I'm still planning on doing it. Yeah, that is freaking cool. I love total pro stocked out, you know, drag car, full tube chassis, tub, slammed to the ground. Challengers. Love them. I think they just make beautiful, beautiful race cars. There's one that's actually, they're down the street from my house and years ago. I went over there because I wanted to build a model of it. My buddy and I did, Frank. I recently found some footage of this cool car that was a regular here in town. What the heck, I'll show you. There's that little coffin, that uh, 32 that, look at this, oddly enough, I was going to say Chuck, Chuck, Chuck built this one too, but a different Chuck, close to the last name, huh? Hey, 66 Nova, we're almost to the end here, everybody, it's a long one, all right, Clemens, North Carolina, Let's see if there's anybody I know. I don't recognize any names yet. I remember this. There's some dude, I don't, oh gosh, this guy, we talked about this once before. Look at that, a Tide. Uh, as a matter of fact, I remember seeing this. I wanted to do a Tide Indy car and I never saw a colored picture of it, but I saw this one. And I was like, man, I'm not gonna do a Tide Indy car now. This guy did a Tide Indy car. I tell you what, if I ever met this dude, you know what I'd say to his face? I'd probably say, hey, buddy. Wait, what? It's our old buddy, Hobby Dude 007. <laughs> I remember when he sent me this picture because he talked about it, and I went, I remember that. You totally wrecked an idea of mine. Uh, Hobby Dude! What? No, 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 no. He's been in it for a while, too. A bunch of old guys still playing with us. There's Mark. There's another one of Mark's. See, he was batsing stock car models way back in the 80s. All batsing styled out. Him with his taking the tires off and get to see the brake rotors and all that. He's the king of that, isn't he? Ah! No! The granddad, we should say. The granddad. All them guys old. Uh, <laughs> and then you see... Clay does it, and Wayne Stevens, Rob Smore, all them guys, man. My favoritist, my favoritist batch of uh, NASCAR model builders. I love those guys' cars, their models, their inspiration. And then we've got the Model Car Club directory. Let's see. Eh, my club wasn't in that, but maybe your club is. There's probably some clubs. Just give a little scan of this and see if you recognize anything. It's just kind of interesting because um, maybe you might see your club in there and they're still around. If you notice it, mention it down in the in the uh, comments below, please. If you see your club, I want I wonder if these clubs are still around. I happen to see a few that I believe are still happening. It's always neat to see these clubs that are still around. And that's that. That's it. Look at the back page. Some cool stuff. But that's it. That's a contest annual. These things were great. The early ones are really awesome. I believe that this was the second one they ever did. I think the first one was 80, 88. And it was a lot smaller. That's why they still had to put some 87, 88. Um, uh, well, 87... The 88 would have covered 87 shows, and probably eight, late 87 shows. That's why we have some 87 shows in this. 
but that first issue I don't have it and I'd like to get a hold of it but I know that one was all black and white this was the first one that was like bammo in color and over 500 photos that's why this video was so long and I might have to find this thing it looked like it got a little water damage here actually I can tell you that's an old story that's, that's that was something that happened in Mississippi in 1992 this uh this thing got stuck in the mud. That's a whole nother Lucas E story I don't care to go through right now. But that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this long, long video, but um, but a lot of fun. I, I, sorry if my babbling was all over the place. I just see stuff in here and I, I read names that I haven't, you know, I haven't thought about these guys in a long time. Some of them I always think about and wonder about where they are today. And some of them I know where they are today. It's cool seeing some familiar names too. But it's just, it's so, it, this is, this hobby has just been so extremely good to me. It's, it, it really, it's been probably the biggest part of my life, second to my child and my grandchild it means a lot to me the the friendships people that i were friends with long ago i haven't spoke to and whoever i don't even know if they're still around or if they are it's been great since i started this youtube channel getting reconnected like with jim bunch which was such a super super treat for me the majority of the closest friends i've ever had have been through this hobby i can't relate with it any other type of people they have to they almost have to be a model car builder for me to even talk to, I guess. <laughs> With that said, I'm going to get the heck out of here. This was a long one, but uh, have a great weekend. And uh, you know what we do here, because I actually have a model I'm kind of tinkering with this weekend. That What the heck's going on there? I ain't saying nothing yet, but it's kind of a quickie I want to throw together. And I'll, I'll come back and let you guys know what I'm doing here. I got a couple of really cool things I'm working on that you'll be seeing in some videos here real shortly. Because, you know, what the heck, man. We, uh, we build these model cars. Why? Because they're fun, man. Here's the producers. <laughs>